everyone, I'm Steve Martinelli. I'm a developer advocate for IBM. And today I'm going to talk to you about IBM Cloud Pack for Data. IBM Cloud Pack for Data is a platform of data and AI tools. It, uh, it can collect, organize, analyze your data, and infuse your applications with AI. Seen here is the Cloud Pack Experience Portal, where you can sign up for seven day trials for several Cloud Packs. Over here is our workshop that we go through in a different video uh, where we, again, use a lot of the tools available in Cloud Pack for Data. And just a few noteworthy mentions here, Cloud Pack for Data it can be run on OpenShift, has several add-ons, has a seven-day trial you can use on Cloud Pack Experience. And here's a diagram I created to kind of highlight these, uh, this architecture. For this video, we're going to be following along the Cloud Pack for Data install docs, which you can find in the IBM Knowledge Center. We're going to be installing on managed OpenShift, which means we're going to get a cluster um, of OpenShift on IBM Cloud already set up for us. And then we're going to follow along this documentation to install Cloud Pack for Data on top of it. Seen here is the cluster that I've already provisioned. You can see I have three worker nodes across three zones. Each one has 16 vCPUs and 64 gigs of RAM. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up the console for OpenShift. You can see here I'm going to copy the command login, going to the top right menu. Then I'm going to open up a terminal and log in. From here, I'm going to copy and paste the script that was mentioned in the install documentation. I'm going to call it cp4d install.sh, and I'm going to make sure that it has an executable permission. I'm also going to update the very one of the very first lines called the Docker registry pass, where I go and I give my API key for the entitlement that I purchased. I'm going to do that off screen. If you keep do keep looking through the file, you're going to see that it does a few Kubernetes and OpenShift um, steps. Specifically, it's going to create a few service accounts. It's going to create a project, switch to that project, create a few Docker registry secrets, and apply this template file. It's also going to apply a few roles to a few service accounts, and then apply yet another template file. This template will be this template file will make it so that we can see the Cloud Pack for Data tile in our OpenShift catalog. So we're going to go ahead and follow the install documentation. First, we're going to add the role to a few users here. The default user and the ICP and EUID service account specifically. Once we've done that, we're going to actually run that install script and pass in the argument Zen, which is going to be a new namespace or project in our OpenShift cluster. It's going to use that Zen namespace and install Cloud Pack for Data in that namespace. You can see the script is going to do a whole bunch of stuff that I already talked about earlier, and the template has been created. Going back into our OpenShift console, you can see the Zen project exists right there. We're going to go ahead and click Browse the Catalog. The Cloud Pack for Data should appear, and it's going to come up with a few reasonable defaults. We're going to again have to include our Docker registry password and we can hit next and continue. Assuming the password works, you should see a very first deployment of CP4D installer, which is then going to bring up a bunch of pods. Specifically, the you should check out the CP4D install pod 
which is going to then kick off the other pods that you see here. Here I bring up the CP4 deinstall pod. There's a lot going on here and there's a lot of different pods for the different services that are being run. The more add-ons that you install, the more pods and deployments and stateful sets that are going to appear. Also be aware that it's going to provide it's going to provision a bunch of persistent volume claims and storage. Lastly, the install pod is going to create a route. That route is going to give you a URL that you can use to log into Cloud Pack for data. The default credentials are admin and password. All right, we're all logged in. Check out our projects. There are no projects. That's expected. But from here, we can start using Cloud Pack for data. Thanks for listening.